Sega. Who was the first president of the United States? Oprah. George Washington. What is the capital of Alaska? New York. Juno. How many sides are on a triangle? Eight. No, four. No, eight. Three. Name an ingredient in spaghetti and meatballs. Oranges. Meatballs. You've just won a million dollars! Yeah! 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 How is it that that dummy won a million dollars and I've never won anything? Oh, I'm sure it's just a matter of time. It better be, because I don't want to end up a bitter, jealous person. Say, I should go on a game show. What game show are you qualified for? Uh, Wheel of Words? You don't know how to spell. How about Price is Correct? How much do you think this pack of gum sells for? $33,000? Good luck with that. Stay tuned for the new game show, Besties, where knowing all about your best friend leads to big prizes. <gasps> we should go on that. We've been best friends forever. We know everything there is to know about each other. I never thought I would say this, but that's not a bad idea, Daffy Duck. Why, thank you, Bugs. Uh, I want to say, uh... Balabuena? How'd you manage that? There are some things you shouldn't know about me. But you better know everything else. I'm more concerned with how little you know about me. I know everything about you. Hit me with some questions. Go ahead. All right. What's my favorite color? Pass. What time do I go to bed at night? Pass. Give me something easy. Fine. When's my birthday? January... February... September... December... Jul... July! July 1st, July 2nd, July 3rd, July 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 27th! July 27th! Well, happy extremely belated birthday. Or... Happy extremely early birthday. <laughs> hey, Speedy. Hola, Bugs. You said you took care of the rat problem. I'm not a rat. I'm a mouse. You don't know anything about me. I bet if you look self-absorbed up in the dictionary, you'd find your picture. My picture's in the dictionary? Is it a good one? What am I wearing? Does my beak look big? Aha! Gotcha! <clears throat> this is hopeless. Don't get mad at me. Those questions were impossible. I bet you don't know when my birthday is. Your birthday is April 17th, your favorite color is Dusty Rose, and you go to bed every night at 10 o'clock, except on New Year's Eve, when you go to bed at 8.30, because, and I quote, New Year's is a holiday invented by the media. It is! Forget it. Find a different best friend to go on that show. But I need you. I prize prizes above all else. This is my shot at finally winning something. I'll do anything. Even if it means focusing on someone other than yourself for more than two minutes? That sounds awful. But I'll do it. Well, Daffy, you know how I hate to talk about myself. But, uh, leave us turn back the clock. It was on the uh. east side of New York where me parents resided amidst humble surroundings. <sighs> Did I say New York? I meant the planet Krypton. <laughs> Anywho, my parents knew that our planet was doomed. So my father, Jarrell, built 
like a spaceship. His dense, molecular structure will make him strong. He'll be fast, virtually invulnerable. And he'll say, what's up, Doc, indiscriminately, whether he's speaking to a doctor or not. You will travel far, my little bugs. But we will never leave you. You're from the planet Krypton? No, you maroon. That's the story of Superman. Who is Superman? I can't believe I hitched my wagon to you. You have a wagon? Daisy, concentrate. On me! Oh, sorry, <laughs> Superman. Ugh, this is gonna be a long night. And now, here's your host with the most, Chuck Barros. Hey, thanks, everybody. Let's meet our contestants. First up, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. What's up, Doc? It's a pleasure to be here, Chuck. I'm a big fan. Tell me, how long have you two known each other? 17 years. Five years? <laughs> Looks like you two better get on the same page. <laughs> and now, let's meet your challengers. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. Oh, no. After you. No, after you. I insist. I insist more. I have an idea. Do you always have good ideas. I can hardly wait to hear. Well, you won't have to wait. I'm about to tell you. Oh, goody. My idea is that we both speak simultaneously. Wonderful idea. Hello. Hello. Bugs and Daffy, looks like you've got some stiff competition. Okay, here's the first question. What is your roommate's favorite vegetable? Your favorite vegetable? Hmm. I'm gonna go with beef, Chuck. Uh-oh, the correct answer was carrots. You know what that means. <laughs> Challengers? Your favorite vegetable? Well, I know he loves cauliflower. Guilty. I do love cauliflower. But he has been known to ask for seconds when I make sweet potatoes. You really must try his sweet potatoes. They are divine. But if I had to pick his favorite vegetable, I would have to say pureed butternut squash in a balsamic reduction with just a hint of clover. That's correct. I knew you'd get that right. Well, I knew that you knew I'd get that right. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What is your best friend's middle name? <laughs> That's an easy one. Sheldon. <laughs> Armando. You know what that means. <laughs> Bugs and Daffy, you've got some catching up to do. And you're going to have a chance after the break. Your middle name is Sheldon. That may be true, but Armando sounds cooler. Well, do you want to sound cool, or do you want to win? I want to win! <laughs> well, then we need a new strategy. In the next round, whatever you're about to say, say the opposite. That's a great idea! I mean, that's a horrible idea. Hello, competitors. Hello. We wanted to wish you luck. Thanks. Don't you want to wish us luck? Not particularly. I'll wish you luck. Why, thank you, and good luck to you as well. <laughs> Welcome back to Besties, the show about best friends. Remember, say the opposite. Tell me, who does your best friend most admire? I want to say me, but I guess I'll go with... Groucho Marx? That's correct! I was gonna say, take your daughter to work day, but instead I'll say... Thanksgiving? Correct. Everything in me is saying rockabilly, but I'll go with smooth jazz. Correct! My gut says chocolate milk, but I'm gonna go with Australia. This final question is worth 300 points. What is your best friend's catchphrase? If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. No, no. 
It's laugh and the world laughs with you. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Oh, feathers. Oh, what fun. It's like a pillow fight. <laughs> Bugs and Daffy, now you have a chance to win. Daffy, what is Bugs Bunny's catchphrase? Hmm, think. Catchphrase. Really? I say it all the time. I know this. I know this. It's sort of my go-to phrase. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's in the form of a question. I say it with a lot of sarcasm. And... I don't do Mondays. Oh, I'm sorry. We were looking for... What's up, Doc? And... Say it with me. You know what that means! That means... You're our winners! Gene! Tell them what they won! A fabulous crew! A cruise? <laughs> How exciting! We've always wanted to go on a cruise! That's your catchphrase? What's up, Doc? What does that even mean? We don't even know any doctors. Ow! Oh, who's doing that? Hi, I'm Kylie Cantrell, and I'm about to get a first look of the movie Descendants, The Rise of Red. I'm about to see my first song in the movie, Red, for the very first time. Here we go. I'm a rebel, I'm a menace, I'm a one girl riot. Slipping through the shadows like I'm ultraviolet. Yeah, yeah. Hearts on the walls, but no love in these streets. Appetite for destruction. The girls gotta eat. Yeah, devil on my shoulder, and it won't be quiet. Yeah, yeah. I'm on a path of destruction. This is gonna be fun. Set it up. Go berserk. Tonight I light it up like fireworks. Burn it down. Till all the scene now is red, 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 red. Bando! What's up, Doc? Terrible. Just the world's worst catchphrase. And I don't remember you ever saying it. Say it! 
Watch up, Doc. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. But it sure cost us the game. What cost us the game was going on a game show about best friends when it's obvious that we're not. You're saying I'm not your best friend? Why? Because I don't know anything about you? Because I never ask any questions or show any interest in you? Because I take you for granted? Because if it is, that's awfully petty of you. My best friend would probably know that I like carrots. He would most likely know my birthday, and he would definitely know my last name. And for the record, I would have loved to have won a cruise. And that is what's up, Doc. That still doesn't sound right. Well, if he's not going to open the door for me, I guess I'll just let myself out. Oh, so I guess I also have to make my own breakfast? I guess I have to peel my own banana, too. Hey, that's my banana! <gasps> a rat! For the last time, man, I'm a mouse! Bugs! Help! Why should he help you? You didn't help him on that game show last night. You know, you think you show Senor Bunny a little more respect, considering he lets you live here. Uh, I don't live here. I'm just crashing here until I get back on my feet. FYI, when you crash somewhere for five years, you live there, all right? You're not a best friend. You're a terrible friend. Why am I a terrible friend? Let me answer that question with a question. <laughs> How many friends do you have besides Senor Bunny? Well, uh, let's see. You? I'm not your friend. Okay, then. Uh, there's that guy that comes over once a week and we hang out by the pool. I, I think his name is Fong or Trang. Are you talking about the guy who comes to clean the pool? Daniel? You're kidding yourself, man. Senor Bunny is your only friend. If you're not careful, soon you'll have no friend. Who needs friends? I'll tell you who. Someone with no girlfriend, no job, no credit, no hobbies, no social skills. Wait, I think I know someone like that. Daniel? No, idiot, you! You're nothing without Senor Bunny. Then what do I do? You gotta try harder to be his friend. Like how much harder? Two percent? More. Five percent? More. Seven percent? Are you out of your mind? One hundred percent. What? No one can give a hundred percent. It's physically impossible. You gotta dig deep. You gotta go to the place inside you where you've never been. My soul. You need to have a soul in order to go there. No, no, no. I'm talking about in here. Now, try. <gasps> That's good enough, right? No! Look at me. You can do this. Now, try. <gasps> Harder! Oh, it hurts! Harder! I'm dying! No! You're trying! I'm going to be the best, best friend that any best friend has ever had! <laughs> Uh-oh. You can open your eyes now, best friend. Huh? Guess what? I got you the cruise you wanted. The one from the game show? Surprise? Well, you shouldn't be. It's just what one best friend would do for another best friend. Cruising could be so much fun. I cannot remember the last time I had this much fun. Tell me, do you think it's possible to have too much fun? Hmm, interesting question. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, and what might that be? Keep having fun! <laughs> Game's over. You've been hogging the court long enough. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Moving along, gophers. It's my best friend's turn. Hey, Bugsy, old pal. A shuffleboard court opened up. Daffy, I'm reading. I don't want to play shuffleboard. Yeah, me neither. Hmm, there is only one thing to do about that. Limbo contest on the leader deck? <laughs> wow, 
What's up, Doc? Oh, is that just your thing? I don't want to step on any toes. Smooth jazz. I know it's your favorite. Do you mind? You done with that page? Just let me know when you're done. I'll flip it when you're done. Done yet? Done yet? Done yet? Ah! I'll save your place! I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Ooh, tell me all about it. This time I promise I'll listen. Daffy, you gotta back off. Sure thing. This good? More. This good? More. This good? Ah! Yeah, that's good. Is everyone enjoying the cruise? Oh, indeed. It's our first one. And I must say, I'm a fan of cruising. Oh, yes. We're cruisers now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. You me. Come through. I wasn't sure what you wanted, so I brought you everything. <laughs> Get your own buffet. This one's for my best friend. <laughs> Daffy, you're embarrassing me. I'd like to propose a toast to the most important person on this ship. Sit down, you glorified bus driver. <clears throat> a rat once told me that friendship takes a lot of effort. But I'm not interested in friendship. I'm interested in best friendship. And best friendship takes a whole lot more. It means waiting on your best friend, hand and foot, Buying their affection. Robotically memorizing every trivial little fact about them. It means supporting them above all others. Possibly to the detriment of those others. Especially to the detriment of those others. Best friends have all of the same interests. Whether those interests are interesting or not. A best friend is someone you'd happily commit a crime for. Any crime. No matter how heinous. The heinouser, the betterer. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not a best friend. That's a stalker. Daffy, I know I said you weren't my best friend, but after these past few days, seeing all the effort you've put in, seeing how hard you've tried, I have to say, you gotta stop trying. What? It's not your thing. Would it be nice if you remembered the occasional birthday or food I'm highly allergic to? Sure, but not if it means we turn into those guys. No offense. None taken. Daffy, you're a mean-spirited, Self-absorbed, disturbed little weirdo. But for whatever reason, you're my best friend. <laughs> you're my best friend, too, Bugs Balabuena. Eh, good enough. Seriously, how did you pay for all this? I used your credit card. I memorized the number. I do know something about you. They should have asked me that on the game show. It's 9481-6400-28... <laughs> 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 